Jones, the thing that I hate more than anything in the entire world, and I mean this with the bottom of my heart, with a passion. If you ever, or if we're ever on like, you know, the newlywed show together or something where they ask us questions about each other, this is the answer to my pet peeve. It's December 12th, December 11th, December 10th, December 13th, whatever it is, it's early December. You're leaving, right? You're leaving maybe for go on vacation. You're leaving school. You're leaving whatever. And somebody says to you, see you next year. <laughs> fuck you. Genuinely fuck you. See you next year. What does that mean? <laughs> yes, technically you're going to see me next year, but just say bye. Say see you later. It's not, there's no significance. If, I'm gonna see, if it's <laughs> December 31st, it's okay because I'm going to see you the next day. It's technically the next year, whatever. It's cool. It's quirky. But if I'm seeing you on December 10th, don't tell me see you next year. When you're gonna see me a month later, just see, say, have a good vacation. No, it's gotta absolutely be worse when it's on December 31st and you're seeing the person on January 1st. Hey, 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 Bob, before you leave, see you next year. But then at least it's funny. At least then it's like a little it's like wink, funny. wink, like, haha. It's, no, it's, it's still not funny. It's still not funny. But at least then it's like, oh, because New Year's is tomorrow. You know what I mean? But this, it's like you had to think. If you're saying it on December 10th, you had to sit there to yourself for a couple minutes, think, okay, when is the next time I'm going to see this person? All right. How all many right, days relax, in the future bro, is that? Right, relax. Is that it's before not some or after equation. January 1st? Is that going to be the same <laughs> year in the Gregorian calendar as now? And based on that, I'm going to decide whether to say see you next year or not. Just stop. <laughs> I don't think it's that hard of a complex equation to say it that is. Mm, it is. I'm not going to see this person until next year, right? Because you have a break until January, right? Don't you have a break until like freaking March there? No, 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 no. It's January. It's January. But, but, but it is, and, and it is a thought process because when you see, whenever you think about it, somebody, you're always like, I'll see you. And then you think about when the next time you're going to see this person <laughs> I, is, uh, right? You see, well, oh, yeah, I, see you too. I'll see you next week. I'll see you tomorrow. And then there is this point where you're like, I'll see you. And then you think to yourself, when am I going to see you? Wait a minute. It's probably not going to be till next year. But then we're trying to make it funny and say, oh, see you next year. Have a good year. Like, uh, and, oh, oh my, wait, pause, pause everything. The actual sure. worst thing. Go. I, ch- go, I changed go, go. my mind. I, I've changed go, my mind. Go. Please lock into this. For when we're on our no. honeymoon game, our newlyweds game, or whatever it's oh, called. Oh, I mean, no, we're, you're really like you're like getting yeah, some well, like, I, sexual I, I tension pre- here. I don't know what's happening. I just want to be prepared. If we're ever on that game, you got to know. Okay, keep going. <laughs> the actual pet peeve, Jones, uh-huh. is when you see somebody in January, and they say, "I haven't seen you in a year. It feels like I haven't seen you <laughs> since last year." Did That's people actually, say that? Yes, people don't Who say are that. You too. hanging That's, out with? I people say I that. No, you know, no. The, the worst is New Year, New Me. It's like I, I, I can't get on the freaking treadmill in on January third because everybody's like, "Oh, this year, this is the year, man. I'm gonna be running thirty miles by March." I'm like, "Please, please let me do my thing." Are you one of those guys? Well, I'm not one of those guys, but I also hate. I mean, I, I would say I'm one of the guys to the extent of yes. In January, I try to be good, and then I realize Jan. I mean. If they wanted us to do better, and we'll talk about New Year's when New Year's gets closer, but if they wanted us to really do, you know, the best versions of ourselves in January and be inspired to start resolutions good in January, they would have made the first month of the year a better month. The fact that January is objectively the shittiest month inherently means that I'm not going to be the best version of myself because you're trying to do these things. I was with somebody last year who was like, I'm doing dry January. And I was like, oh, really? Like, you're not drinking. Keep in mind, it was January 3rd. And they're like, I just, that's a long time. I, yeah, that's a like, long time. I just can't do this anymore. I got a drink. I was, okay, so you didn't really try to do dry January. I think the fact that January is so depressing, there's nothing happening in it. It's impossible to to do all these things that are making you a better person because you just get so bored. You need to eat that food. You need to drink that drink. You need to do this I, stuff. I, I think there's only one resolution that people stick with, and it's because it's it's hard not to stick with it, and mm. that's that's to have a baby. Uh, for the new year. And that's why there's so many September babies, if you think about it. Eli. Is that the resolution? Somebody says, uh, my New Year's resolution, you know, they're going around the table on New Year's Eve and says, no, no, no. my it's New like, Year's it's resolution like, is I want to have a baby in the new no, year. It's, no, it's like, honey, it's this year, weird. like, yeah, this year, like new year, like, let's have a baby. And that's why you see like September just down the line, down the line, down the line. Coincidentally, I'm born September 24th. You on September 25th. <laughs> So I'm just saying there but, is but there, 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 do, there do be some correlations there. But you're but the mathematics is not mathematicing for you there because if yes, you think it about is. it, that no that if you're born in September, that means you were conceived in December. So right. you would already have had the you, you would already know you're having a baby by that point when you make the resolution. You're talking about Wait. people who in, who in December say, Oh, we should have a baby in the new year, which by the way, we'll talk about this another time, I'm sure as well, is an insane <laughs> thing to say. I never understood people who tell people we're trying for a baby. 
That's you just make, a weird thing to tell people. Well, you got to try because sometimes yeah, but why it would takes you advertise a while. That? Why would you advertise that? Because it's like it's sweet. Like if you're like it's married it, to somebody and you're trying. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. It is. You're telling your I mean, family if, that. If we're like... on the newlywed game together, I guess we're not going to be trying for a baby. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think it's a fine thing to say for sure. No, but yeah, you make your resolution before January. So then in December, you make the baby and then september oh so you're just it's like a four it's like a foreshadowing it's like a little like well, you don't well, you don't say i'm like you don't on january 1st say this is my resolution you say this yeah, you is do. my resolution no no you probably do it like if you're you don't say it on december 5th I'm, you say it on december the, 27th maybe i don't know no that's an early that's your early uh, resolution that's be. a premature resolution <laughs> this has been give me five jones eli suggest follow us everywhere eli thanks for talking see you later jones